Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Nathan, or Silver as I like to go by on my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to be introducing a series called, uh, I'm going to call it Game Animation Sample Project from Scratch, or Gasp from Scratch, where basically I want to take a deep dive into the Game Animation Sample Project that has been released by Epic Games a, a couple months ago, or a few months ago now. As you can see, it's a very beautiful project that they released and whatnot with over 500 animations and stuff. A um, bit of a disclaimer though, even though I did say we're going to be doing a deep dive, uh, I have only been learning Unreal Engine for a little less than two months now, but I plan on doing more stuff and whatnot with like learning it, keeping up with practices and stuff like that. Um, but basically, I kind of want to break it down into sections for people to go over because as I've been using this for um, training myself in Unreal Engine and also kind of seeing how they kind of make the uh, the sandbox character do its different things, how they get the different speeds, etc. Stuff like that, how they get the aiming. I've been So I've been doing a lot of practice and seeing as how they do all their movement inputs and stuff like that within my own project. So if I pull up my own project, basically I have similar layouts. Basically I have been copying it from scratch, but been working at it little by little just to kind of see like how everything is actually working with each other. So if you actually look at my project, we do have a default third person template and you can see that I have stats and stuff like that in the top left corner, which is something I do actually want to make with everybody in this series. Um, just to kind of show you little by little how things are working in the game animation sample project. And also too, it's a good learning experience for me because as I am learning it, I would like to kind of, you know, share my progress and my findings with everybody else that wishes to, you know, utilize the same sample project or at least do something with them similar within their video games, their creating, stuff like that. So definitely want to get into that and help everybody that I can. I think this is going to be a really cool series. Uh, in the next video that I'll be doing, I plan on you know doing the basic stuff like creating a third-person template and setting up the input sy subsystem action stuff like that, just to kind of get everybody going. And then you know kind of after that, the coming videos will be stuff like setting up that same UI widget for debugging, and then getting into stuff like the strafing, aiming, and creating functions and stuff like that, going little by little over it. My current progress now is that I am currently like halfway through the character blueprint of the game animation sample. The part, the part that I am working on right now currently is the traversal action system where if we come in and check this out, I, you can see that I'm currently looking over it, seeing what's going on, what's happening with it, and how to actually get these console variables and other stuff. So I'm slowly learning it, getting it together, piecing it together and understanding it. So that way I can share this knowledge with everybody else that wishes to understand the underlying actions of the game animation sample. And also too, I'm hoping that the series is helpful because I want to see more AAA style games with using the game animation sample, but a lot of, it kind of looks terrifying because if you don't know what you're messing with, it, it gets, you know, you don't have a lot of confidence in using it. So I want to give people the confidence to be able to use that animation sample project, understand what's going on and how things are working in there. So, you know, if you're very interested in seeing that, then please follow me uh, with the upcoming videos that I plan on making in this series. Uh, and, you know, stay tuned. Thank you very much. And I'll see you then.